Right, with us we've got the coach of Namibia's inline hockey team, Klaus Dieter Schobel, and the Namibian captain, Marco De Bortoli. Well, uh, Marco, maybe we start with you. You just lost now to South Africa. Um, how does it feel to uh, lose and not go to the World Championships? Well, I mean, we had a young team, not a lot of time to train, and uh, the boys played their best. I mean, it was a very, very close game. We put everything into it, hearts and soul. But we still got next year to look forward to it. Learning curve. We'll do better next year. Right, but what was so disappointing? You took a 2 0 goal uh, lead, and um, I think everyone was thinking you would uh, win. And South Africa came back, and they, I think they won 4 3 in the end. Um, how did you let go of that lead then? Mm, it was tough. The boys lost their concentration a little bit, I think. Uh, South Africa knew they needed to step it up and. Uh, like I said, we are a young team, we tried our best and unfortunately our best wasn't good enough in the end, but they're still next year, like I said. Right, thanks Marco. Um, Coach Klaus, um, how was the match for you and um, what's the way forward for this team now? Well, it was uh, really exciting this game and um, I'm really proud to be a part of this uh, young team as well, but they fight really well and I think they have the future, you know, because they are young and we, we haven't enough time to train. Then I think we had better chances to beat them. Okay, one more question, Marco. Um, where to from now? When do you have to qualify for the next World Championships again? Well, we've got uh, a two-year period. South Africa goes next year and then uh, if they re-qualify, that means we don't get to challenge them again to go to the World Cup. But otherwise, we uh, have another game against them, which will be two years from now. And we've got the Fierce World Cup coming up next year, which is a different division, which we'll, we will probably take uh, place in. And uh, yeah, I think that's what we're looking forward to now at the moment. We've got six months to train. Our team will be stronger than ever by the time the next World Cup comes. So that's what we're looking forward to at the moment.